What's up dudes and ladies, Studex here and today I'm going to show you the settings I use in OBS to record my gameplay. Uh, I'm too much of a scrounger to go and buy myself a capture card so this is going to do just now. Anyway, let's get to it. So we're going to want to go to settings, double click settings again. Move this over. Uh, the general tab, nothing changed here. Encoding, now I'm using QuickSync. QuickSync is, uh, it comes with Intel CPUs. So if you're with AMD, you're out of luck. Sorry about that. So to enable Quick Sync, what you want to do is go into your BIOS and enable IGPU. Just give it a quick Google. It's everyone's different with their BIOS and motherboard and that. So just Google that how to enable this. Uh, use CBR unchecked. Max bitrate. I've got that on 24,000. To me, that's that's my sweet spot. It's just perfect. You c I could make it go higher, but 24,000. I'd keep it at that. Custom buffer size unchecked, audio I've left out the same. You could put that up to 192, but well, 128 is fine for me. Broadcast settings, uh, I've got it on file output only. Obviously, because I'm just locally recording. File path, I've got that on my H drive. Uh, I find that saving to an external hair drive is hair drive, hard drive is much easier. And it doesn't put a lot of stress on the hard drive that you're gaming on. Video, do you want to no. know? Uh, video adapter, make sure you've got that on your main graphics card and not the one that QuickSync is using. So for me it's a 560 Ti. Yeah, I know it's a bit dated, but <laughs> still does its job perfectly. Resolution, 1920 by 1080 obviously, and FPS, 60. Audio, nothing different. Hotkeys, nothing different. Advanced, so we've got multi-threaded optimizations checked. The process priority class, I've got that on above normal. Scene buffering time, 400. Allow other modifiers on hotkeys checked. Quick sync preset. Now I've got this on best quality, but if you find that you're getting the error code saying warning, high encoding, just put this down to 1, 2 or 3. Don't go to balance because it looks, the quality is not that good. Encoding profile, high. You could have this on higher main, but high seems to work better for me. Keyframe interval. I've got this on zero, so it's on auto, but you can put it on two. Two is quite nice as well. Uh, use co constant frame rate, got that checked. And everything else is the same. So we'll click apply there. Quick sync encoder. Now I'm not using any of these because I don't know what they mean and I don't want to mess about with them. So I just left that unchecked. And everything seems to be working fine. So just apply that, okay. And you're ready to go to record in 1080p 60fps. Anyway guys, thank you for watching the video and if you liked it, leave a like, subscribe and I'll see you later.